Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In this video, we've brought back a new comparison to PC versus Mac. This is a topic that many people have been debating for many years. And since the new year just rolled around, we thought it would be a good time to go over this topic again. To help make today's video easy to follow along, we've created a PowerPoint and we'll have the PowerPoint going throughout the entirety of the video in case you guys want to screenshot any of the slides. Before we get started with the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'm going to pull up the PowerPoint presentation first, and at the end, I'm going to share to you my own personal experience with both Mac and PC and how I decide which one I'm going to use for which task. All right, let's open up this PowerPoint. All right, guys, so I've got the PowerPoint pulled up here. And again, just to recap, we're going to first talk about compatibility, then performance, then reliability, and lastly, personal preferences. OK, so in terms of compatibility, PCs have broader software compatibility, and this makes them ideal for gaming. This also generally makes them ideal for the workplace. A lot of workplace server systems and computers are gonna be based on the Windows operating system. And so again, just overall in terms of compatibility, PC would be a better choice. Macs are gonna be more optimized for creative apps, some examples being Final Cut Pro and Logic. Another benefit to Mac is integration. The majority of people are on iPhone and they may also have AirPods or an iPad. And Macs are going to work seamlessly with these devices for file sharing and also things like messages. OK, and then PCs are also going to have better compatibility with third party devices. OK, in terms of performance, PCs are customizable for high performance tasks. And this is a good benefit because you can choose the hardware that you need and leave out the hardware that you don't. Macs are pre-configured, but they do come with the powerful M series chips. Macs excel with lightweight, efficient designs, and you can actually get some good power out of these smaller laptops. All right, and then PCs have better options for heavier workloads at home. Now, in terms of reliability, Macs have very premium durable designs. One downside with Mac is that they are unfortunately known to have battery issues after just a few years, and this is something that Apple is somewhat notorious for. If and when you have an issue with a Mac, the only way to repair this within warranty is to bring it to a specialist or go to an Apple store. This is definitely a downside, but again, in a lot of cases, we do have good longevity with Macs. Mac also offers a more simple operating system and has generally more smooth updates. Things like graphic and network drivers, as well as the software updates themselves, automatically install on Mac, and a lot of times you don't have to think about it. Whereas on Windows, this is a much more manual process. Okay, and then PCs are flexible, but may require occasional upgrades. Now, lastly, we just have personal preference. For heavy editing, PC may be ideal for customization. For portability, MacBooks are lightweight and powerful. For example, the latest M3 processors in Macs actually pack quite a good punch. And again, you can just have this in a small and compact laptop. In conclusion, we would recommend choosing based on your specific needs and budget. All right, and then lastly, I wanted to share my own experience with both Mac and PC and what I decided to use. My most important capability in a computer is video editing. So when asked the question Mac or PC for my needs, I actually say both. Here's the reason for that. For a desktop computer, I have a very strong preference for PC over Mac. Number one here, again, is gonna be the customization. I can get very capable hardware components and it's gonna be a lot less expensive than it would be in a Mac. Not only that, because of the form factor of a mid-tower PC, I'm just gonna be able to get better overall hardware. I've done some render tests with my PC and it's more than 10 times faster than my MacBook Pro laptop. Because I have the room for the graphics card, I can also play games on my PC. And overall, it's a very robust system that I can use for many things. It's also a lot more practical when using multiple displays and peripherals like I have here. Now, in terms of portability or on the go, I'm personally not a fan of Windows laptops. Some people are, and I think you still get some of the benefits that I just talked about but I much prefer a Mac for this purpose. The Mac will be more expensive, and again, we have those battery issues, but I just find that the Mac is very seamless and still very powerful for a portable computer. This is my on-the-go choice for video editing. We have the M2 Pro processor inside of here, and I have only 16 gigs of RAM, but again, this actually does a really good job at being my on-the-go machine. Anytime I am at the office, again, I prefer my PC. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, 
be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any ideas that you'd like to see covered, we encourage you to drop those in the comments as well. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.